Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, my name is Emilio Suarez and I finished a book. So let's just talk about it, okay? It's a trilogy or a series. I don't know if a trilogy can count as a series or they're two different things or it just really doesn't matter. Please let me know in the comments. The first book in the trilogy is The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone. Okay, uh, this book is about spiders, killer spiders. All the trilogy is about spiders. And has that kind of Meg vibe, you know, the shark uh, novel that they made a movie a couple of months ago. It has that feeling, but for some reason, I felt that this book was more fun. And I'm gonna be talking about each of the books this first one, I have to say that I really enjoy it. It's not like the greatest book ever, but I really enjoy it. And I enjoy very much the characters because there's a bunch of characters in this novel. There's the FBI agent who's uh, checking out on a plane crash. And there's the scientist and there's the Madame President Pilgrim and her chief of staff Manny. And there's a bunch of things happening because each one is dealing with their own relationship lives. And that's the most interesting part of the book, of the novel. Manny's dealing with uh, his ex-wife, the scientist Miss Geyer. She has a romance with one of her grad students. Miss Pilgrim, of course, has been unfaithful to her husband with her chief of staff so ah and the chief of staff is the ex-husband of the scientist it's like everybody's with everybody but it is so much fun to look at what's happening in the lives of all these people between spiders from nazca in peru are just eating people i have to say if there was a movie about this i will go and watch the movie not for the spiders, but for the characters. I, I think the characters were very, very fun. And you feel like you want to follow every single one of them. Now, the second book of the series is this one, Skitters. And this deals with the second... I think I should say there are spoilers here in this video. A wave of spiders, the first wave of spiders, looks like they're all dead, but they come back again. This second book was nice, was fun, but not as much fun as the first one. Why? Because characters that you think they were kind of the protagonist of, of the um, series stop being the protagonist and they start to focus more on other new characters that come here. And yeah, they're good, they're great, uh, uh, and I invest my time in those, but I was the whole time I was thinking, what about the other characters? I want to see more of the other characters. What's going on with them? I want to know what's going to happen with their relationships and all of that. And I understand the world is in crisis because of these damn spiders. And they don't have time to be dealing with, oh, I think I'm falling in love with somebody else. That's not the important issue, which is good because they don't focus so much in their relationship status because they have to deal with the spiders and all the crisis that's going on in the world. But I kind of missed the first characters of the first book. They're here, but they're not as much. The only two characters, or maybe three characters, I think I should say, the character that, leads, that is least here is the FBI agent. Because, well, you need the president, and the president is gonna be making decisions, and you need her chief of staff, and of course the scientist is now working with the president. You need those characters here. It was kind of going in a way that I know what was going to, what was going to happen, because the second wave of spiders were moving in a certain way, and there are these big spiders in a couple of places and they serve as modems like they control the rest of the spiders so you kind of know what you are going to do i mean they're going to try to kill the giant spiders so they can just turn off the rest of them the final book in the series it's zero day this is the book that i least liked because now again the characters were so apart with their own lives 
that in a certain way it looked a little bit repetitive what they were doing because you just can't do so much when you're just in one place like with the FBI agent and I keep mentioning the FBI agent because I want him to be here more but he's not or maybe should I what should I say is I want them to be all together uh, but they're just kind of separate and it was a little bit uh, disappointing now this book and the second one have things that were very that, that I really really liked and it's that they got these little stories like these little short stories in between with characters that are not connected with any other principal character here and I really love them because they're just there for a brief time and they're just either die or do something good with their lives and they don't appear again and I really love those parts for some reason because they were contained and they tell me everything that I need to know about the character and sometimes I feel bad for those characters who died in those little situations and I felt very connected so I think the writer did a really great job doing these little pieces inside of the trilogy there were other characters uh, the, the, that were more time but very very apart and for some reason you want to know what's going to happen with them or I was expecting to see in which way they were gonna be connected with the other characters but they they were never connected they were just isolated characters and they were fun yes but maybe it's just my fault because I was expecting to all of them be together and form this big giant megasaur power ranger thing and fight the spiders and all of that but another thing that i was a little bit disappointed in the third book is the final act is it was like so easy to do they just spent so much time doing what i already had in mind in the second book maybe uh, moving pieces in the story i'm not talking about the author writing the story but in the world in the universe of the story moving pieces like we have to do this now the government has to do that and we have to check how we can get somewhere from point a to point b it's gonna take time and i understand that but sometimes i was like i already know what you want to say you want to say if you kill what the the, the mother spider all the rest of the spiders around the world are gonna die but it was like pretty easy to do almost no one in the group died i didn't want any, anyone to die but it was like it didn't look like it had lots of consequences after the the book ends then there's an epilogue with the lives of every single character and everything was resolved so fast like everybody was happy and i'm happy that they were happy it's not that I wanted destruction and I want every other character to die. It's that it was easy to get to from point A to point B. It was easy. I, I, I think it was easy for them in that last book, in the last pages, to do everything they did. And that's the problem that I have. It didn't feel like a third act. I didn't even feel the climax in the story. It was so diluted. It was so superficial that it didn't feel like a climax. There's no point where I can say the climax was that one because it was very repetitive about, well, let's go all in the group and kill this giant spider. Okay, now let's go all in the group to another place and kill this spider. No, we found the giant spider that controls all the spiders in the, in the world. Okay, let's go and do the same thing. The same group go to the place and kill the spider done epilogue that's my only concern now do i recommend the series mm, yeah why not they're fun i i have those little feelings about it it was a really fun series and the best thing of all there are only three books there's not like seven books about spiders there's just three and there's no more and the life of every character just ended where it ended. I hope 
I'm saying this probably next year is gonna be the, the next book the fourth book where there was a spider who had a kid and I, I don't know I just hope that doesn't happen the story was told there it took me a long time to finish it but there it is that's what I think about the book and I hope this helps you also when you're writing your own stories to have an idea of how maybe readers or the audience you're writing a screenplay can feel about your characters okay and the idea is not to give the audience or the reader what they want it's just move the audience emotionally that's it if you had to kill any character in the third book well maybe I, 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 it's gonna be a pain for me but if you give me a good reason for that, not a good reason that he maybe died as a hero or she died as a hero or something like that, but like the character had to die for this to happen. Well, I'll be sad, but it it's gonna feel maybe a little bit more complete. I, I was gonna feel a little bit more complete. Maybe you, if you read it, uh, you felt complete. That worked for you and that's great. But for me, it didn't work the way it was expecting to. Um, so, anyway, those were my thoughts. Uh, you want to keep on talking about the series, anything in, uh, in particular, just let me know. Hit it in the comments. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like these videos. And let me know if you want to keep on learning a little bit more about screenwriting. And I'll try to give all the tips that I can here uh, for you. And I will help you in any way I can. So subscribe if you like it, just give it a thumbs up. And thank you for being here. Gracias, YouTube.